Welcome to today's edition of Toggle's vid Daily Video Insights. My name is Jan. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Toggle. And today we're going to talk about Adobe. Um, for anybody who is watching this for the first time, we do these insights daily. And so if you'd like to see more of them, please sign up for our YouTube channel or check us out on toggle.global where you can also sign up for the daily brief or test drive the Toggle Copilot. The focus today is going to be on a technical indicator, MACD, in particular the 12-day, 26-day moving average indicator. For anybody not familiar with this indicator, really it's the difference between a faster, the 12-day, and the slower 26-day moving average, and it's typically seen as a good way to signal the end of corrections or the emergence of a new trend. In this particular case, actually what Toggle is highlighting is that the the difference between the two has dropped down to a level that historically has preceded a bounce. And so really looking at this chart, what it's saying is that this period of consolidation may have ended and with a starting price of 493.76, if history is any guide, you could see the stock price rise to 550.96, staying within this confidence interval. And again, the stop loss level being placed at 465.16, where below this and outside of the confidence interval, the likelihood that this is still a relevant guide to price action is significantly diminished. Now, the price action suggests that over the following three months, Adobe price could reach over 11% in at least half the cases. And this is based on 29 similar occasions that Toggle was able to analyze in the past. and. You're able to see them right here so clicking on why it might move it shows you exactly what has been happening with MACD and you can see these other periods although here you really need to squint to be able to see anything but you can certainly see that it caught some really really nice moves in the last year and a half or so the other thing to always check also is the distribution of the of the returns over these past episodes and again you can see that actually quite a lot of them were substantially over 10 percent some as high as 35 percent and most of the downside when the paradigm didn't work so dropping below the red line you ended up losing around 10 percent or less with the one exception an important exception of course that lost over 20 percent so it does underscore the importance of risk management even more importantly this is only one driver so in order to really get a full view of what is happening in the stock itself you click on the overview right here and it takes you to this page where again you're able to see that actually adobe currently has some in fact two different insights that are highlighting potential upside the other one being an insight also from yes from yesterday which is highlighting that the six month momentum has been mostly positive and this too suggests that the price action could extend from here um, the overview is a good way to also check some of how some of the past insights have done and here you can see that actually back in november toggle highlighted that analyst revisions have now become quite bullish for the stock and subsequently the stock did indeed rally quite meaningfully anyway so much for adobe today we are also briefly discussing the ex some of the extreme data points that we're seeing in the market today in today's daily brief so if you subscribe to it it should be in your mailbox already if you don't go to toggle.global and you'll be able to see it then thanks for your attention see you tomorrow